hello guys welcome back to the chair tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix update error kb5014697 which is not installing on your windows and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this and so you have to follow these simple instructions so it's going to work you guys out so the first one it's all about run update troubleshooter so in order to just follow the instruction you just have to go over here and you have to search for settings now from here you just have to navigate to system from here in the system you just have to scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot from here there is an option called other troubleshooters from here you just have to scroll down and there you can see under most frequent windows updates you just have to run this so this will be detecting any kind of problems used over there it will be detecting by itself as default and it will be fixing you guys out so this is the basic step which you have to try out in some cases this won't work so that is where we have to think what we have to do next so parallelly if you're trying with this one if it's not working even after finding this you just have to go with a restart also that's going to help you guys out even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to next one next one is all about you just have to move to the next one is all about you have to restart windows update as well as a background intelligent transfer service so if you want to do this you just have to go over here and you have to search for services you have to open this first you just have to navigate to windows update double click as you can see the startup type is automatic okay now what you have to do is if it is not in automatic you have to change this to automatic now just go for apply and here there is an option called start the service go for it so it's going to take a little bit of time so you just have to wait for it once it is done simultaneously and vice versa you just have to scroll down a little bit here you can see the background intelligent transfer service so you just have to right click you just have to double click then as you can see the startup type is automatic delayed change this to automatic and you just have to go for apply and go for ok then just go for restart the service so once these both things are done you just have to restart a pc as well as and you have to check and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one so next one is all about you have to use microsoft kate lock so here i'll be giving you the link so you don't have to worry as you can see it is on the kate lock over here so here you have to type the error that is you just have to type the update that is kb 5014501469 697 and go for search now what happens is you'll be getting these options from this you have to select the respective one that is 2026 cumulative update for windows 11 x64 based i have to click on this one so what happens is this will take you to this and from here you just have to download the respective one according to this just have to download the process and uh, you just have to go for the next and once it is successfully done and installing the .exe over here most probably this has to be fixed over here you just have to click on download so what happens is this has to be fixed so once it is .exe is successfully installed most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to go for windows 11 installation assistant so which is also i'll be giving a link in the description so now as you can see windows 11 installation is here so you just have to download it once you successfully download and install this one and most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to go to the next one next one i'll be providing few commands in the description which are windows update components and all these things will be available in the description so you don't have to worry so what happened is you just have to copy paste it so here i have already made it so as you can see if i open this so next is all about you have to update windows update components which i have already copied here so as you can see these are the components so what i'll do is i'll be copying all these things right then i'll minimize this one i'll go over here and i'll search for notepad so once you search notepad you just have to paste it paste it and i have already done here as you can see so you just have to click on file and you have to save it while the time you are saving you have to give it name woofix dot bat so you have to give the command woofix dot bat and you have to change the text document to all files and you just have to go for save okay so here i have already saved it as you can see once you are done with the save what you have to do is you just have to right click on this one and you just have to go for 
run as administrator option so just go for it so what happens is this will take stop all the windows update components and this will uh, again restart it and it will be taking a little bit of time in the meantime all these performances as you can see this will be taking like this it will be going on one by one so this is going to take a little bit of time so once it is all done most probably the issue regarding yours regarding the update error kb5014697 will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful you just have to wait for here you just have to wait for all this so it's going to take a bit of time don't get confused and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out